Hello everybody. I am Dr. D. Kavita, Assistant Professor, Department of Biochemistry, Biotechnology and Bioinformatics, Avnashingham Institute for Home Science and Higher Education for Women, Coimbatore. Now you have chosen to study the module on fermentation of vegetables and fruits involving the lactic acid fermentation. Shelf life of the perishable food can be improved by fermentation which is considered as the oldest technology compared to the refrigeration. Among the food items, fruits and vegetables are easily perishable commodities due to the higher uh, water activity and the nutritive value. Lactic acid fermentation increases the shelf life of fruits and vegetables and also enhances several beneficial properties including nutritive value and flavors and reduces the toxicity. After completing this module, you will be able to understand the importance of lactic acid fermentation bacteria. You will be able to comprehend the significance of fermentation in vegetables and fruits. You will understand the various types of fermented vegetables and fruits that are available today. Let us see the principles of lactic acid fermentation. In developing countries where the world population increases, lactic acid fermentation is expected to become an important role in preserving fresh vegetables, fruits and other food items for feeding humanity. Many fermented fruits and vegetable products namely sauerkraut, kimchi, gandrak, kalpi, sinki etc have a long history in human nutrition from ancient ages and are associated with the several social aspects of different communities. The lactic acid fermentation of vegetables undoubtedly originated from the preserving effect on the product. The growth of lactic acid bacteria during the vegetable fermentation results in restriction of the growth of undesirable organisms and delay or prevention of the normal spoilage. Production of various unique flavors because of the accumulation of organic acids or byproducts giving a characteristic and distinct finished product. These conditions are more critical in tropical and subtropical countries which favor the growth of spoilage causing microorganisms. Fermented fruits and vegetables can be used as a potential source of probiotics as they harbor several lactic acid bacteria such as Lactobacillus plantarum, Lactobacillus pentosus, Lactobacillus brevis, Lactobacillus acidophilus, Lactobacillus admantum, Leuconostoc felix and L. mesenteroides. As a whole, the traditionally fermented fruits and vegetables not only serve as food complements but also attribute towards health benefits. With the popularity and success of sauerkraut, Fermentation of many other vegetables has emerged such as cucumbers, beets, turnips, cauliflower, celery, radishes and carrots. Depending on the type of raw materials in final fermented products, vegetable fermentation is characterized accordingly. Fruits and vegetables are exclusive sources of water soluble vitamins C and B complex, provitamin A, phytosterols, dietary fibers, minerals and phytochemicals for the human diet. Vegetables have low sugar content but are rich in minerals and vitamins and have neutral pH and thus provide a natural medium for lactic acid fermentation. Lactic acid fermentation enhances the organolactic and nutritional quality of the fermented fruits and vegetables and retains the nutrients and colored pigments. The most reported fermented fruits and vegetables they are categorized as follows. First root vegetables namely carrots, turnips, beetroots, radishes, celeriac and sweet potato. Second the vegetable fruits includes cucumbers, olives, tomatoes, peppers, okra and green peas. And vegetable juices namely carrot, turnips, tomato pulp, onion, sweet potato, beet and horseradish. Fruits include apples, pears, immature mangoes, immature palms, lemons and fruit pulps such as banana. 
Now we shall highlight the unique features of fermented fruits and vegetables. The conception of lactic acid fermented fruits and vegetables helps to enhance human nutrition in several ways such as the attainment of balanced nutrition providing vitamins, minerals and carbohydrates and preventing several diseases such as diarrhea and kyrosis of liver because of probiotic properties. Dietitians and physicians recommend fermented fruits and vegetables due to the health promoting properties of these foods. Fermented fruits and vegetables are low calorie food because they contain considerably lower quantities of sugars compared to their raw counterparts. Fermented vegetables are a source of dietary fiber which impedes the assimilation of fats and regulates peristalsis in the intestines. Some of the fermented fruits and vegetables containing colored pigments such as flavonoids, lycopene, anthocyanin, beta-carotene and glucosinol glucosinolates which act as antioxidants in the body by scavenging harmful free radicals implicated in degenerative diseases like cancer, arthritis and aging. Lactic acid fermentation of vegetables has an industrial significance only for cucumbers, cabbages and olives. Now we shall discuss about the importance of sauerkraut. Sauerkraut is one example of an acid fermentation of vegetables. The name sauerkraut literally translates as acid cabbage. The sauerkraut process can be applied to any other suitable type of vegetable product. Because of the importance of this product in the German diet, the process has received substantial research in order to commercialize and standardize the production. Other less well-known fermented fruits and vegetables have received less research attention. Therefore, little is known of the exact process. It is safe to assume, however, that the acid fermentation of vegetables is based only on this process. Lactic acid fermentations are carried out under three basic types of conditions, namely dry salted, brined and non-salted. Salting provides a suitable environment for lactic acid bacteria to grow which impart the acid flavor to the vegetable. For pickling, any variety of common salt is suitable as long as it is pure. Impurities or additives can cause problems. Salt with chemicals to reduce caking should not be used as they make the brine cloudy. Salt with lime impurities can reduce the acidity of the final product and reduce the shelf life of the product. Salt with iron impurities can result in the blackening of the vegetables. Magnesium impurities impart a bitter taste. Carbonates as well can result in pickles with a soft texture. The entire process of fermentation of vegetables and fruits are shown in the diagram. Let us see the dry, salted, fermented vegetables. With dry salting, the vegetable is treated with dry salt. The salt extracts the juice from the vegetable and creates the brine. The vegetable is prepared, washed in portable cold water and drained. For every 100 kg of vegetables, 3 kg of salt is needed. The vegetables are placed in a layer of about 2.5 cm depth in the fermenting container, a barrel or a keg, salt is sprinkled over the vegetables. Another layer of vegetables is added and more salt is added. This is repeated until the container in three quarters are full. A cloth is placed above the vegetables and a weight added to compress the vegetables and assist the formation of a brine which takes about 24 hours. As soon as the brine is formed, fermentation starts 
and bubbles of carbon dioxide begin to appear. Fermentation takes between 1 and 4 weeks depending on the ambient temperature. Fermentation is complete when no more bubbles appear after which time the pickle can be packaged in a variety of mixtures. These can be vinegar and spices or oil and spices. This is the sauerkraut process. Lactic acid bacteria are the primary group of organisms involved in sauerkraut fermentation. They can be divided into three groups according to their types and end products. Leuconostoc mesenteroids which is an acid and gas producing occur bacteria. Lactobacillus plantarum where it is a bacilli that produce acid and a small amount of gas. Lactobacillus cucumeris and Lactobacillus pentoacidicus is an acid and gas producing bacilli. The quality of the final product depends largely on how well the undesirable organisms are controlled during the fermentation process. Some of the typical spoilage organisms utilize the protein as an energy source producing unpleasant odors and flavors. We can look into the fermentation process now. Shredded cabbage or other suitable vegetables are placed in a jar and salt is added. Mechanical pressure is applied to the cabbage to expel the juice which contains fermentable sugars and other nutrients suitable for microbial activity. The first microorganisms to start acting are the gas producing cocci that is lactobacillus mesenteroids. These microbes produce acids. When the acidity reaches that is 0.25 to 0.3 percentage which is calculated as lactic acid, these bacteria slow down and begin to die off. Although their enzyme continue to function. The activity initiated by the lactobacillus mesenteroids is continued by the lactobacilli until an acidity level of 1.5 to 2 percent is attained. The high salt concentration and low temperature inhibit this bacteria to some extent. Finally, lactobacillus pentoacidicus continues the fermentation bringing the acidity to 2 to 2.5 percentage thus completing the fermentation. The end products of a normal crot fermentation are lactic acid along with smaller amounts of acetic and propionic acids, a mixture of gases of which carbon dioxide is the principal gas, small amounts of alcohol and a mixture of aromatic esters. The acids in combination with alcohol form esters which contribute to the characteristic flavor of sour crot. The acidity helps to control the growth of spoilage and putrefactive organisms and contributes to the extended shelf life of the product. Changes in the sequence of desirable bacteria or indeed the presence of undesirable bacteria alter the taste and quality of the product. Let us discuss how the temperature is influencing sauerkraut process. The optimum temperature for sauerkraut fermentation is around 21 degrees centigrade. A variation of just a few degrees from this temperature alters the activity of the microbial process and affects the quality of the final product. Here, let us see the influence of salt on the sauerkraut process. Salt plays an important role in initiating the sauerkraut process and affects the quality of the final product. The addition of too much salt may inhibit the desirable bacteria although it may contribute to the firmness of the crot. The principal function of salt is to withdraw juice from the cabbage or even other vegetables thus making a more favorable environment for development of the desired bacteria. Generally salt is added to a final concentration of 2 to 2.5 percentage. Now comes the important factor which is starter cultures. In order to produce sauerkraut of consistent quality, starter cultures have been recommended. Not only do starter cultures ensure consistency between batches, they speed up the fermentation process as there is no time lag while the relevant microflora colonize the sample. 
because the starter cultures used are acidic they also inhibit the undesirable microorganisms it is possible to add starters traditionally used for milk fermentation such as streptococcus lactis without adverse effects on final quality because these organisms only survive for a short time in the crop medium they do not disturb the natural sequence of microorganisms on the other hand if leuconostoc mesenteroids is added in the early stages it gives a good flavor to the final product but alters the sequence of subsequent bacterial growth and results in a product that is incompletely fermented if gas producing rods are added to the sauerkraut this disturbs the balance between acetic and lactic acids more acetic acid and less lactic acid are produced than normal and the fermentation never reaches completion if lactic acid non gas producing rods are used as a starter again the crot is not completely fermented and the resulting product is bitter and more susceptible to spoilage by yeast it is possible to use the juice from a previous crot fermentation as a starter culture for subsequent fermentations the majority of spoilage in sour crot is due to aerobic soil microorganisms which break down the protein and produce undesirable flavor and texture changes the growth of these aerobes can easily be inhibited by a normal form soft crot can result from many conditions such as large amount of air poor salting procedure and varying temperatures too whenever the normal sequence of bacterial growth is altered or disturbed it usually results in a soft product it is the lactobacilli which seem to have a greater ability than the cocci to break down cabbage tissues which are responsible for this another problem encountered is the production of the dark colored sour crot this is caused by spoilage organisms during the fermentation process several conditions favor the growth of spoilage organisms for example an uneven distribution of salt tends to inhibit the desirable organisms while at the same time allowing the undesirable salt tolerant organisms to flourish pink crot is a spoilage problem it is caused by a group of yeast which produce an intense red pigment in the juice and on the surface of the cabbage it is caused by an uneven distribution of or an excessive concentration of salt both of which allow the yeast to multiply if conditions are optimal for normal fermentation these spoil next is the brine salted fermented vegetables brine is used for vegetables which inherently contain less moisture a brine solution is prepared by dissolving a salt in water a 15 to 20% salt solution fermentation takes place well in a brine of about 20 cm as a general guide a fresh egg floats in a 10% brine solution properly brined vegetables will keep well in vinegar for a long time the duration of brining is important for the overall keeping qualities the vegetable is immersed in the brine and allowed to ferment the strong brine solution draws sugar and water out of the vegetable which decreases the salt concentration it is crucial that the salt concentration does not fall below 12% otherwise conditions do not allow for fermentation so to achieve this extra salt is added periodically to the brine mixture once the vegetables have been brined and the container sealed there is a rapid development of microorganisms in the brine the natural controls which affect the microbial populations of the fermenting vegetables include the concentration of salt and temperature of the brine the availability of fermentable materials and the numbers and types of microorganisms present at the start of fermentation the rapidity of the fermentation is correlated with the concentration of salt in the brine and its temperature most vegetables can be fermented at 12.5 degree to 20 degree cm salt if so the microbial sequence of lactic acid bacteria generally follows the classical sauerkraut fermentation 
At higher salt levels of up to about 40 degrees salometer, the sequence is skewed towards the development of a homofermentation dominated by lactobacillus plantarum. Next is the pickles. Pickled cucumbers are another fermented product that has been studied in detail and the process is known. The fermentation process is very similar to the sauerkraut process, only brine is used instead of dry salt. The washed cucumbers are placed in large tanks and salt brine 15 to 20% is added. The cucumbers are submerged in the brine, ensuring that none float on the surface and this is essential to prevent spoilage. The strong brine draws the sugar and water out of the cucumbers which simultaneously reduces the salinity of the solution. In order to maintain a salt solution so that fermentation can take place, more salt has to be added to the brine solution. If the concentration of salt falls below 12%, it will result in spoilage of the pickles through putrefaction and softening. A few days after the cucumbers have been placed in the brine, the fermentation process begins. The process generates heat which causes the brine to boil rapidly. Acids are also produced as a result of the fermentation. During fermentation, visible changes take place which are important in judging the progress of the process. The color of the cucumber surface changes from bright green to a dark olive green as acids interact with the chlorophyll. The interior of the cucumber changes from white to a waxy translucent shade as air is forced out of the cells. The specific gravity of the cucumbers also increases as a result of the gradual absorption of salt and they begin to sink in the brine rather than floating on the surface. What are the microbes involved in the fermentation process? As with the sorker process, the gram-positive caucus, leuconostoc mesenteroids, predominates in the first stage of pickle fermentation. This species is more resistant to temperature changes and tolerates higher salt concentration than the subsequent species. As fermentation proceeds and the acidity increases, lactobacilli start to take over from the cocci. The active stage of fermentation continues for between 10 to 30 days. Depending upon the temperature of the fermentation, the optimum temperature of uh, lactobacillus cucumerus is 29 to 32 degrees centigrade. During the fermentative period, the acidity increases to about 2 percentage and the strong acid producing types of bacteria reach their maximum growth. If sugar or acetic acid is added to the fermenting mixture, during this time it increases the production of acid. Now we shall see the non-salted lactic acid fermented vegetables. Some vegetables are fermented by lactic acid bacteria without the prior addition of salt or brine. Examples of non-salted products include gundrunk, sinki and other white uh, wilted fermented leaves. The detoxification of cassava through fermentation includes an acid fermentation during which time the cyanogenic glycosides are hydrolyzed to liberate the toxic cyanide gas. The fermentation process relies on the rapid colonization of the food by lactic acid producing bacteria which lower the pH and make the environment unsuitable for the growth of spoilage organisms. Oxygen is also excluded as the lactobacilli favor an anaerobic atmosphere. Restriction of oxygen ensures that yeast do not grow. Another interesting type is the pit fermentations. This is an ancient method of preserving starchy vegetables without the addition of salt. The raw materials undergo an acid fermentation within the pit to produce a paste with good keeping qualities. Foods preserved in pits can last for years without deterioration. Therefore, pits provide a good reliable cheap means of storage. Root crops and bananas are peeled before being placed in the pit while breadfruit or scrapped and pierced. Food is left to ferment for 3 to 6 weeks after which time it becomes soft, has a strong odor and a paste like consistency. During fermentation, carbon dioxide builds up in the pit, creating an anaerobic atmosphere. As a result of bacterial activity, the temperature rises much higher than the ambient temperature. The pH 
pH of the fruit within the pit decreases from 6.7 to 3.7 within about 4 weeks. Inoculation of the fruit in the pit with lactic acid bacteria greatly speeds up the process. The fermented paste can be left in the pit and removed as required. Usually it is removed and replaced with a second batch of fresh food to ferment. The fermented food is washed and fibrous material removed. It is then dried in the sun for several hours to remove the volatile odors and pounded into a paste. Grated coconut or coconut cream and sugar may be added and the mixture is wrapped in banana leaves and either baked or boiled. Now let's see the traditional fermented fruits and vegetables. In India, the lactic acid fermentation vegetables such as Gandra, Sinki and Kalpi or fermented vegetable product of Nepal, Sikkim and Bhutan. Lactobacillus brevis, Lactobacillus plantarum, Pediococcus pentasons, Acidolacti and Leuconostrophylax or the predominant lactic acid uh, bacteria involved in ethnic fermented vegetables. Gandrang is a non-salted, fermented and acidic vegetable product indigenous to the Himalayas. During fermentation of gandrang, fresh leaves of local vegetables known as raya sok, mustard leaves, cauliflower leaves and cabbages are wilted for 1 to 2 days. Wilted leaves are crushed mildly and pressed into a container made airtight and fermented naturally for about 15 to 22 days. After desirable fermentation, products are removed and sun dried for 2 to 4 days and gandrang is consumed as pickle or soup. Next is Sinki. Sinki an indigenous fermented radish tap root food. It is traditionally prepared by pit fermentation which is a unique type of biopreservation of foods by lactic acid fermentation in the Sikkim Himalayas. For Sinki production a pit was dug with 2 to 3 feet diameter in a dry place. The pit is cleaned, plastered with mud and warmed by burning. After removing the ashes, the pit is lined with bamboo sheets and paddy straw. Radish tap roots are wilted for 2 to 3 days, crushed, dipped in lukewarm water, squeezed and pressed tightly into the pit, covered with dry leaves and weighted down by heavy planks or stones. The top of the pit is plastered with mud and left to ferment for 22 to 30 days. After fermentation, fresh sinki is removed, cut into small pieces, sun dried for 2 to 3 days and stored at room temperature for future consumption. And the next is Kalpi. It's a fermented cucumber product commonly consumed by the Brahmin Nepalis in Sikkim. It is the only reported fermented cucumber product in the entire Himalayan region. Ripened cucumber is cut into suitable pieces and sun dried for 2 days and then put into a bamboo vessel and made airtight by covering with dried leaves. It is fermented naturally at room temperature for 3 to 5 days. Fermentation after 5 days makes the product sore in taste. Kalpi is consumed as pickle by adding mustard oil, salt and powdered chilies. Kalpi is prepared in the months of September and October. Microorganisms which are involved are uh, plantarum, bravis and leuconostrophylax. And the next one is the kimchi. Kimchi is a Korean traditional fermented vegetable made from Chinese cabbage, radish, green onion, red pepper, powder, garlic, ginger and fermented seafood which is traditionally made at home and served as a side dish at meals. Kimchi is a generic term indicating a group of traditional lactic acid fermented vegetables in Korea. The major raw materials Oriental cabbage or radish are salted after pre brining blended with various spices uh, such as red pepper, garlic, green onion, ginger, etc. and other minor ingredients like seasonings, salted seafoods, fruits and vegetables, cereals, fish, meats, etc. and then fermented at low temperature that is 2 to 5 degrees centigrade. Kimchi fermentation is a temperature dependent process. It ripens in one week at 15 degrees centigrade and took three days at 25 degrees centigrade. But low temperature is preferred in kimchi fermentation to prevent production of strong acid over ripening and extended period of optimum taste. Kimchi is characterized particularly by its sour, sweet and carbonated taste and 
differs in flavor from sauerkraut and pickles that are popular fermented vegetables. Because of these beneficial properties, kimchi was nominated as one of the world's healthiest food in a 2006 issue of Health magazine. So fermented fruits and vegetables contain a diverse group of prebiotic compounds which attract and stimulate the growth of probiotics. Although challenges remain, it is possible that fermented foods handed down for many generations will play a major role in the global food industry. Detailed studies on the microbial composition and characteristics of fermented fruits and vegetables lead to the further application. So this module has given you the clear picture about the fermented vegetables and fruits involving the lactic acid fermentation.